Who will be United manager next season? Will it be Ole Gunnar Solskjaer still, or will it be Maurizio Pochettino? Pochettino has made it clear this week that he wants a return to the Premier League as soon as possible. And the Poch to United story has gathered some real momentum. Again this week, I want to run through everything that Poch has said, everything the press are reporting, and give my opinion on who I feel should be United's manager next season and why. And I want to know from you, as always in the comments, exactly your opinion on Poch to United. But let's run through everything that's developed this week. Since being sacked by Spurs manager, Poch Tino has sort of taken a back seat, disappeared a little bit, Recovered, recuperated, I suppose a little bit like Mourinho did before he came back for the Spurs job. And this week he was speaking to Natalie Pinkham on the In The Pink podcast about everything that's happened since Spurs and everything he wants to happen in the future. And he made one thing abundantly clear. He wants a job in the Premier League next season. This is what Poch said. He said, to be honest, I would love to work in the Premier League. It's going to be difficult, I know. And for now, it's a moment to wait and see and we'll see what happens. It's a moment of recovery to think about yourself a little bit and to be ready because in football, always something can happen and you need to be ready. I'm ready and waiting for a new challenge. I have the belief and confidence that the next challenge will be fantastic. So Pochettino wants to manage back in the Premier League. And if you look at the clubs in the Premier League at the moment where Poch could go, for me, there's only two real options. Arteta, he's at Arsenal. Chelsea, they've got Lampard. Klopp, He's not leaving Liverpool anytime soon. Spurs have got Mourinho and obviously Poch is not going back there. So for me, it's between City and United. If City decide to stick with Pep Guardiola after this season, then City are out of the running. For me, the conditions seem the best at United for Pochettino's next job. And he wants the job. Of course he would. It's United. And Pochettino... Yes, he hasn't won any trophies. And that's going to be the big thing that a lot of people say. And they say, look, man, just stick with Solskjaer. Pochettino hasn't won any silverware. But Pochettino, for me, is a, is a step up. And I'll run into that in a bit. But as well as his comments on the In The Pink podcast, that same day, Pochettino was spotted at Griffin Park for Brentford's game against Leeds, which, you know, is fine. But he was also next to Neil Ashton. Now, Neil Ashton, as we all know, is the PR advisor hired by Ed Woodward in recent months to improve his own brand and his own image and try and improve United's image in the press. Is it a coincidence that Pochettino is there with Neil Ashton on the same day that he has the podcast, well, the podcast was released with Natalie Pinkham, who both of them, Neil Ashton and Natalie Pinkham, worked for Sky Sports for some time? Maybe it's not. But it certainly adds more fuel to the fire. And then if you look at what the press are saying this week as well, you've got Duncan Castle saying that Poch wants the United job, that Woodward wants Poch, and that conversations have already taken place. Then you've got Julian Laurens, a well-respected ESPN journalist, saying that he is convinced that Pochettino is going to be United's next manager. So as you can see, that the story is gathering momentum. And I've said previously that I feel... Poch to United next season should absolutely happen. And that it's the next step in the progression that we're doing as part of this rebuild. Because Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, I agree with every single decision, big decision that he's made for the club. With the players that have come in and for the reasons behind them. With the players that have been sold or let go and the reasons behind those. With the the culture that he's trying to bring back to the club. I can see that every decision Solskjaer makes is with the club's interest in mind and the club's interest as the first priority which you can't say about any other manager we've had since Fergie but in that same sense I think if we're looking at the club's interest as the first priority Pochettino in the summer has to happen and Solskjaer needs to step aside because Solskjaer he's not the man that is going to bring us all the silverware back to get us challenging for the Premier League and Champions League like we're all so desperate to do. I don't think Solskjaer is the manager that is capable of doing that. It does not to say that all the work he has done up until this point hasn't made a massive difference because it has, but in terms of the next step and the next stage of the progression, for me, Pochettino is a much better manager to do that job. And people again are going to go back to the fact that he hasn't won silverware, but I'm not looking at that. I'm looking at the foundations that he put into that Spurs team 
to transform that Spurs team from just perennial underdogs that would always fail. I mean, in that sense, that's probably the worst comparison you can have, actually, because they did fail. They didn't really win anything. But Spurs, you know, what he did with the academy players coming through, just with the team and the squad and with such a limited budget, which obviously that's going to play into his hands at United. Pochettino just, for me, is a great manager. And I think he's a better manager than Solskjaer. Not that Solskjaer can ever be. I don't know. Let's see what goes on in Solskjaer's career. But as the next step in United's rebuild, for me this summer, it, it makes absolutely perfect sense for Pochettino to come in. Would Solskjaer step aside and go into a different role inside the club? I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure how big Solskjaer's ego is behind the scenes. Because for, for him to come in and let a manager take his job and then just move into a different role, and what would that role be? I'm not sure. But Pochettino to United. I said it a while ago. must have been like four or five weeks ago. I said that United should already be talking to Pochettino, to his representatives, and that the process should already be started. And maybe that is the case. And if Duncan Castles is correct, that is indeed the case. But Pochettino to United makes sense on so many levels. And it wouldn't be a jarring switch between managers. I've said this before as well. It'll be a continuation of the process that we're on. Because Pochettino and Solskjaer share a lot of the same values and characteristics as managers rather than Van Gaal, Mourinho. Just two polar opposite types of managers and the big U-turn that has to happen when you get that sort of change. But with Pochettino, it wouldn't be as much of a U-turn at all. And I could see it working out for United. But let, where do you stand on all of this? Because clearly this is going to be the story that develops all season long. It's not going to go away. And I, I think that's because it should happen. But what do you think? Do you want Pochettino to come in to replace Solskjaer? Or is the fact that he hasn't won anything as a manager, is that the reason that you wouldn't bring him to United to bring Silverware back? Let me know where you stand on it. There's obviously going to be arguments for both sides. But for me, it's the, the next clear step in this, this rebuild that we're doing. And I think Pochettino could be the man to take us up to that next level. He clearly wants to be back in the Premier League. Arsenal, Chelsea, Spurs, Liverpool, they're not going to get him. It'll be between United and City, and City might stick with Guardiola, which means it'll be United. But let me know what you think about Poch to United. Is it right or wrong for United to be looking towards him now? Is it Should we be sticking behind Solskjaer past this summer? Let me know where you stand, but this story is not going to go away. It's going to be interesting to see how it develops, and when it does... Bring you all the latest updates here on United People's TV. So make sure you subscribe. Until next time, take it easy.